Hey folks, Quill18 here, starting a new Let's Play Civ 5. We are going to be playing as England, and I'm going to be playing using a mod this time around, the Yet Not Another Earth Maps Pack, uh, which is kind of a silly name, but uh, I'll try to include a link down in the description box so that you can play with this map pack yourself if you would like. Uh, it was suggested to me by a viewer, so we're going to give it a try. Um, so it is a... Uh, we will be playing on an Earth map, and this is a very, very realistic and accurate Earth map. We're also going to be playing on a gigantic size, whereas on a norm normal map, the um, the Isle of uh, of Great Britain would be, you know, at best three or four hexes or something like that. This time, it's going to be like the size of a continent in a normal Civ game. Uh, so that's going to give you an idea of the scale. I am going to play as England, and I've taken the United States out of the game uh, because just it doesn't make sense for the US to start you know at four or five thousand BC in North America uh, so I'm gonna actually as part of my uh, my quest is England I is I'm hoping to be uh, heavily involved in colonizing the new world but we're gonna see we're gonna have to deal with the Iroquois and yes if you correct me and tell me it's Iroquois uh, or something like that then I'm just gonna mock you in the comments it's I'm not gonna say that you're wrong for saying Iroquois or something like that but the idea that you would say that Iroquois is wrong is absolutely ridiculous and wronger. You are wronger than me, so, nah. Okay, sorry, still a little bitter about the last game. Um, that's it, let's get started. I've also clicked this checkbox to add specific resources at starting positions. England seems to be very uh, resource poor in uh, the test starts that I ran just to see what the area was like. Um, so I'm hoping that that helps balance things out just a little bit. So without further ado, oh, the big thing with this mod, die. Uh, the default setting, there are going to be 20 civilizations and 45 city-states. It's going to be a huge, packed world, which should be awesome. Let's start the game. Praises upon Her Serene Highness, Queen Elizabeth Gloriana. You lead and protect the celebrated maritime nation of England. England is an ancient land. Settled as early as 35,000 years ago, the island has seen countless waves of invaders, each in turn becoming a part of the fabric of the people. Although England is a small island, for many years your people dominated the world stage, their matchless navy, brilliant artists, and shrewd merchants giving them power and influence far in excess of their mere numbers. Queen Elizabeth... Will you bring about a new golden age for the English people? They look to you once more to return peace and prosperity to the nation. Will you take up the mantle of greatness? Can you build a civilization that will stand the test of time? All right, so here we are. Let's look at our abilities very quickly. We do have Sun Never Sets as a passive, which just gives plus two movement to all naval units, so we're going to get some good exploration done with that. We've also got Longbowmen, which replace the Crossbowmen and have one additional range, which is very, very nice for strategic or tactical combat, rather. And we've got Ship of the Line, which replaces one of the other ships. I can't recall off the top of my head here. Um, and I believe it's cheaper, faster, and stronger, or something like that. It's very, very dominant, and when you get to that era, uh, England is going to rule the seas. Um, I am now in the DirectX 11 client, which I'm very happy about, and also I can once again record in Fraps, so we should have um, our mouse pointer the entire game, and a few other things should behave a little bit better. So, um, as I said, England is kind of resource poor, and looks like that's still going to be a case here. Uh, we've got some furs over here, which is a happiness resource at least, and fish way over here for bonus food. Um, now, we do, our settler is here, which is fairly accurate, um, just based on Google Maps. I did some peeking around in terms of where London should be positioned, um, right on the, uh, the River Thames here. But that being said, it's kind of a crappy location in a Civ game because you can't sail ships up and down this river or anything like that. So this is basically going to be a landlocked city, except most of its t t uh, tiles, excuse me, are actually going to be water tiles. And the water tiles are kind of weak to start off with, and in London won't be able to build any buildings based on the water. So these are going to be dead tiles, and London is going to be terrible. So what I think I'm going to do is actually move the settler just over here to the right. At least that's what I was planning sort of ahead of time. I'm wondering if actually maybe I should move it one 
to the southeast right here. That'll let me get to the fish a little bit sooner, take uh, only one uh, cultural expansion, whereas up here it would actually take uh, a couple of growths in the right direction. And that's questionable about whether that's going to happen. I think I actually like that idea. Um, there may also be other resource tiles in uh, in northern France here that we may be able to uh, to claim, depending on how the AI settles. So we're going to cross the river. I think that might lose our whole turn, which is unfortunate, but I'm willing to take that penalty. Yeah, we did lose it. And actually, I should have moved the warrior first, just in case there was something up here, but I'm not holding my breath. No, nothing visible. So definitely a very weak start, because we're going to need a border pop before we even get a um, a resource of any kind. And that's it's really bad. But what are you going to do? London! And we've also got a little border over here. It's, it's dashed, so that means some sort of city-state, but I think we'll... Uh, we won't peek just yet. We're going to wait and see what city-state that could possibly be. How many of you know your geography? All right, um, let's head uh, this way. Choose production. Um, wow. I mean, a worker would be nice in general. We could build some farms here, which would help our growth, which I guess wouldn't be bad, but... <laughs> this is such a shitty start. <gasps> Oh my god, this is so bad, because, like, look at these tiles! These tiles are useless. Wow. Um, so, we either build the workers so we can improve these and grow London faster, or we build a monument so that we can claim, it looks like it's going to try to gain, gain the furs first and then hopefully the fish after, but frankly I'm probably just going to pop one of these tiles automatically. We do get culture, we're going to get an expansion in 15 turns. Yeah, I'm going to start a worker. By the time it's finished, the uh, the fox will be an option. So, that's alright. Uh, tech tree. Uh, sailing and optics is going to be a very, very high priority, especially with that fish on board, but I think what I'm going to do is work my way up to trapping first. Uh, because I think we need to build a trading post on the fox. I mean, he's in the picture. We also might reveal horses, which wouldn't be terrible. What an awful, awful place to start. Why is England so bad? I mean, they've got plenty of fertile land. I'll give them that, but... It's the only thing they've got going on. There's some deer up here. Like, I clicked the box to start with extra resources, didn't I? Like, or does that not work? Or does it not do what I was thinking? Maybe I should have just randomized the resource. It wouldn't be realistic necessarily, but at least it would be fair. And we've met Edinburgh. So Scotland up here, led by James the Fourth, is a militaristic and irrational civilization. It's got access to gold and cotton, um, which are actually two really nice resources. They're going to be 30 gold just for meeting them, which is awfully nice. And uh, we'll have to see what we want to do about these guys a little bit later on down the road. These, uh, these turns are going to take a really long time. I mean, I do have a better computer this time around, but we have 20 sibs and 45 city-states to simulate between turns, so it's going to be kind of slowish. Oh, we have cotton as well. Nice happiness resource. In fact, this may be the cotton they were talking about, because when they tell you the resources, they don't necessarily have it within their circle right away. Hmm, I wonder if we should rush a settler and just plop them down over here or somewhere. I guess we could plop one down in the middle of this area. Then it won't be coastal, but it'll claim a lot of really, really good tiles, and maybe we can rush expand towards the deer. Wow, that's an idea. Well, I can't start the settler now anyway. I think I'm going to wait for the worker to complete regardless, because the settler would just build too slow. So, all right, we won't change that. I think we can go this way. Yeah, that'll reveal plenty. <laughs> oh, we've got some territory down there. i definitely going to want to claim that fish ASAP. In fact, I've got enough money right now, so I will buy a tile. I will buy the fish. That will help us, because it's actually, like, considerably better tile. Uh, I mean, just giving us an extra food. Instead of two food and one commerce, it's giving us three food. Hello, Bienvenue. Napoleon. Je suis Napoléon de France, le militaire le plus intelligent de l'histoire mondiale. All right. 
Uh, so we're going to say goodbye for now because the AI will not be willing to do any trades quite yet. But hopefully soon we can do something. We're going to need all the help we can get. So yeah, I guess the question becomes, do I spam out a few little cities or do I try to build one and then expand its borders a whole lot? I think I'm going to build a few. I'm going to try to grab that deer before uh, Scotland claims it here. And then probably, so colonize here, perhaps. And then next to the cotton, and then maybe somewhere down here. We'll see. Somewhere in Wales. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, poor London. Doing everything so slowly. Oh, we got some ruins. Maybe we'll get lucky and get something good out of it. We can only hope. We need something. I don't know what. A technology? I guess a technology is one of the best things you could end up with. I don't know if you can get a settler, but that would be okay, too. I wouldn't mind. Thou shalt not muzzle the ox when he treadeth out the corn. All right. Do we reveal any horses? We do! Well, that's better. Um, so it would give us plus one production in this tile, as well as giving us horses, but I'm not actually concerned about it from a military point of view. Just the fact that it's a two food, one production tile is a huge, huge upgrade, given our land. And we discovered pottery for free. Well, that's really Shall good, actually. Clay say to him that fashioneth it, what makest thou? Hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, that is really good. I'm going to leave my warriors parked down here just to fog bust. We don't want a barbarian harassment if from coming from this side. And then we're going to settle up here. And I think we're going to settle fast enough that we won't worry about barbarians. Especially since uh, Edinburgh here is going to have a little bit of vi vision, which is going to fog bust. Two turns away from another population expansion. Not that it's really doing much. It's giving us a tiny bit more gold production, so that's something. And more research, of course. So we're almost at the amount of money we need to expand our borders automatically. Now we will get a culture pop here. And then there's not really... There it is. There's not really another tile to rush, unless I want to claim more on the mainland. Well, actually, I don't have any on the mainland. That's interesting. If I did that, that gives me a landing zone for something. Not much, because you can't drop multiple units, or you can't stack units anymore. Hmm. Hmm, maybe we should just rush a settler and claim some of the mainland. Well. So, it's actually a long way from doing that, because we need to go all the way up to optics. I'm going to complete trapping, and I think I'm going to go up to optics after that regardless, so we can consider the different possibilities. I could claim this tile just for denial purposes. That would be kind of funny, since I have enough now. <laughs> Interesting. Any advantage to doing that? Maybe. Well, I could at least improve the tile. More tiles are better. We're going to have some pretty stiff border competition here. Sure, why not? Let's just be a jerk. Hee hee hee. France is not going to like that. Napoleon's going to come over here and whine at me. <laughs> I wanted that grassland of crappiness. I might take the other one, too, if it's an option. Oh! Your purchase of land in my vicinity has caused some alarm. Yeah, yeah, our affairs are none of your business. Silly man. What are you going to do? Invade me across the water? That'll never work. You guys are pretty useless. Five turns to trapping. Okay, let's expand and build this farm. Take six turns. Perfect. Well, not perfect perfect, but pretty good. And, yeah, I'm going to start a settler. Thirteen turns. Yeah, I definitely want to see if I can claim this guy. Probably drop a city right here. Hmm, <laughs> Got Ireland across the way here. We'll go and see them soon. I really want to secure both these islands at some point, if possible. Now, that may mean an alliance, or it may mean conquest. We'll have to see. 
<laughs> Alright, play these turns faster. This is not going to help with all these sieves. I can't imagine what the late game is going to be like. I have to pause the recording between turns. Even brute beasts and wandering birds do not fall into the same traps or nets twice. Alright. So now we can finally trap these, uh, these fox and take their fur. Choose research. But we want to be able to conquer the seas. That is our goal. So we're going to start by developing simple boats. And then the ability to cross uh, troops and other worker types across the water. French warrior staring at us from across the channel. Making fun of us. Making faces, rather. We'll get you soon. Don't worry about that. Actually, we may not get you at all, frankly. I am going for a technological win. Assuming it can be pulled off. I really hope it can be pulled off. It's England is not actually optimal for it, necessarily. I don't know what they're more optimal for. Some sort of, well, archipelago map or something. Uh, adopt policy. So, alright. Uh, I don't really care about honor because I don't think I'm going to be fighting much in the way of barbarians. And actually, I'm not too worried about my defensive capabilities here. The fact that I'm across water is really going to make it a lot more of a pain in the ass for people to come and attack me. Um, so the question is between tradition and liberty. Um, tradition is better for a smaller empire, and it really buffs your capital considerably. Whereas liberty is better for rapid expansion. And I do want to build at least three settlers. I'm in fact constructing one now already, and this will let me build them much, much faster. Um, I think that's worthwhile. I actually also like the fact that you just get the plus one production in every city. I think that'll actually help things hugely um, in all our cities. Um, a little extra happiness, faster worker stuff. Whereas over here we get um, better growth in our capital, better wonders, but I don't think we're going to be getting any early game wonders. Uh, so you get less unhappiness from having a lot of people in your capital. Cheaper border expansions, but I don't think border expansion is going to be a problem. I think we're going to... It's going to be slightly Rex-ish, rapid expansion, so I think Liberty is going to be the way to go here. So I'm going to take that. Yay! So the time on the Settler has reduced. Probably saved a couple of turns there, which is actually pretty worthwhile. Hmm, <laughs> hmm, so we'll expand here, probably start building a worker right away so we can improve more tiles while London keeps producing settlers. I think that's sound. Actually, it's going to build a work boat next. Oh, but I won't have sailing, actually. So, maybe just start on the next settler. Let me see here. Um, grant Wow, the granary will take so much time. Oh my god. What tiles are you actually working? Well, you're not actually working the furs yet, but... Actually, I guess you still won't, even after being improved, because I don't think it'll actually improve the stats here. Um... So that only takes nine turns. It's not bad. I don't... I mean, the more social policies would be good, which is what building the monument is partially going to help us, but I think I would just like to claim all my land as soon as possible. So yeah, I'm going to keep rushing out the settlers. Granary, also very good, but the build time's a little bit annoying. And you are going to come here. Hopefully nothing has spawned here, no barbarians. No men of the wild forests. Highwaymen, outlaws, brigands. I've heard tales of a man named Robert Hood. Okay, so that's hooked up. Mm, it does give you plus one gold, I think, over what it was before. So it might get worked at some point. But I think for now, more farms, anyway. Because it's even working an unimproved farm tile. Just because it wants the food to put out the settler faster. Expand the city faster. Now, hold on. Let me stop you right here, buddy. We're going to have to think about this. Because I was thinking here so that I could claim the deer right away. But I've got enough money I could build 
and then instantly take it. No, I can't, because forests take more money to purchase. Right? Yeah. It cost 120 instead. So, I'm going to go and do this. Play it safe. York. Mm, let me tab a sec here. Maps.google.ca. Is that actually where York is? I, I feel I don't know much about England in any way whatsoever. But it's in the right direction, isn't it? Um, maybe not. I don't even see York on the map. See, because this will be Liverpool. I knew that. I just don't know what, what it would be a good name for the stuff up here. Um, Norwich, Lincoln, Grimsley, Hull. Like, what's a good big city name in this area? There's not really anything. Well, you know what? It's right on the border by Edinburgh. Let's call this one. Assuming we can uh, write enough here. Let's call it Newcastle upon Tyne. There we are. Oh, I can't write. Okay, it's going to be Newcastle. But we'll all know what it is. Hooray! And you are definitely going to start on a uh, on a worker. Because we're going to need at least another worker here. ASAP. Oh, no. Wrong. Wrong construction. Cancel. Shoot. Yeah, because I want to build a farm there, not a trading post, which I think is what I clicked on. Silly me. Yeah, trading post is suggested. I think a farm will help much, much better. Because if we want to be able to work these forests later on, we're going to need the surplus food. For sure. <laughs> it's the only way we're going to get any production. Gold, we're going to be okay, especially with the furs. So there's some denouncing going on already. Up he who are. commands the sea has command of everything. Now, I would really like the Great Lighthouse for a few reasons, but I don't think we're going to be able to spare the production early on to build it. We shall see, but I suspect that we would get beaten to it. Um, three turns to finish the Settler. I'm not feeling quite as rushy with it. I think I might whip out a... Uh, um, actually, can I per... No, I can't purchase Workboat. Workboat would take eight turns. I think I like the idea of rushing that out. Plus, I think we're going to get a population pop. Six turns. Um, so it's going to delay our settler by, well, eight turns. Maybe seven, depending on how things happen. No, eight turns. Um, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. <laughs> Next turn... Newcastle's actually growing quite nicely. Ah, and it's getting to work that uh, deer already, because it's two food, one hammer. Very, very good. <laughs> and presumably it can be improved with a camp? I hope. Doesn't actually say here, but... That was the assumption I was going on. Probably. Bum, 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 bum. Here we are. Worker down here completes his task. Excellent. And London will be all right for a minute. I could safely come over here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to buy the uh, horse tile here. It's the only cheap tile available. And so we may as well spend the money on that and then let the uh, culture, which we are not producing any, but we will have to build a monument here. Uh, we'll let the culture expand into these other plots instead. And the horse tile is quite good, and then we will send this worker to improve that horse, to pasture the horse. I think that'll be very powerful, very useful. <laughs> Newcastle has grown. Excellent. More people flocking from the from the forest, more wild people coming and settling into our cities. And plenty of births too, I suppose. Here we go, pasture. Plus one production. Yeah, that'll be awesome. Very strong tile. Newcastle, already a much stronger city than London. Still a little smaller, but <laughs> it's com producing considerably more production. 
Not as much food. London is going to grow faster, and in fact, it just has. But, but very good overall. In Hello. Namen des großen deutschen Volkes heiße ich euch willkommen. Germany is already friendly. Now, we're going to talk to the French here, who are also friendly. Good. Bonjour. And we're going to discuss a um, Continue. declaration of friendship. No, he declines. Nous refusons. And trade. Tu dis 